Hey everybody! Hello! I put new batteries in that sign. Look how bright it is. And that disco ball in that hand. Okay, well, the, let me tell you something. I filmed earlier this morning a Dollar Tree haul. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Because that light is right in my glasses. This lipstick is really pink in this light. Holy guacamole. Ignore my pink, pink lips. Okay, it's not on my teeth, so that's what counts. I have a TV haul. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'm going to run my mouth for a minute, so I'll timestamp when it starts in the comments below if you don't want to hear me run my mouth. Earlier today, I filmed a Dollar Tree haul. It got off to a sad start. I started ranting about garden gnomes in it. I put on a coconut bra and all kinds of things, but I looked like a skeletal old man in that video. I don't know if I'm gonna upload it or not because this shirt, I'm wearing this shirt that I got from Timu unironically. I ordered it not knowing that within a week my own cat would be dead. But we were worried about the sleeves. It has little sleeves, but it shows my skinny, like, they're not skinny because they got this stuff. I mean, this could be toned, like, <clears throat> anyway. Um, I don't know, but they, I looked really skeletal and sickly in that video. So I put on a robe. So this is a bathrobe haul. Well, it's not, I wish it were a bathrobe haul. If it were a haul of just all bathrobes, I would be in heaven because I'm, I love bathrobes and I don't care what you want to call me, make up nicknames, call me names or whatever because of my love of bath. I will always buy robes. If it were up to me, we would all be running around in them. But anyway, so I did this Dollar Tree haul for a change and I just went in all kinds of weird directions and I looked kind of, and I was shaky in it. I was nervous because I've never done a Dollar Tree haul on this channel. And my hands were shaking really badly throughout the whole thing. I look hopped up on something, but I'm not. I'm just hopped up on light. Well, okay, I have been drinking coffee and I showed this in my other video, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it. I got this mug off Timu. It's a year of the rabbit mug. Oh, it's, I love it so much. I think I only paid six bucks for it. Five or six bucks. But anywho, the mailman just came by and dropped off another big orange bag. This video is not sponsored. If you missed my last video, though, I did get an email from the Timu people inviting me to try out. Really, that's a little fly inviting me to try out $40 worth of stuff on them, but I had to pick one category. I picked toys. So I'm excited about that. I don't know when that, I'll, I will of course, because there are a bunch of rules and things I have to do and stuff for that video. So it will be a little more professional than usual. And it will say sponsored. This video is not sponsored. And somebody asked how they found my channel. You can apply to be a Timu influencer. It's somewhere on the home page of, I don't know if you use the website or the app, but somewhere on the home page, there's a button that says, like, become a Timu influencer or something. And you click it and you can fill out a form and apply to be a YouTube influencer or you can get um, an affiliate link and all this other stuff. It's, it's got like a whole page full of how you can share Timu stuff and get paid or get credits or get free items. Mine is not paid. Okay, let's see what's in here, you guys. This is going to be a spooky Timu haul. Really? Because I was... What smells in here? Hmm... Oh, you know what would be smart? Here we go again. I do this every time if I called it up on my phone so I could tell you the prices. When am I ever going to remember? Uh. When am I going to stop making this face? We wonder why my eyelids have two huge creases in them. It's because I'm always making that perplexed face when I talk. I really need to get some eye 
Botox. I might do that soon, and then we can all see how weird I look without being Playing from Aaron's iPhone. No, you're not. Alexa, stop that. Um, anyway. What? <laughs> then we can all see how I look when I talk if I can't move my eyes at all. I don't, I think that will be a little freaky. All right, let me call up this order. Just bear with me, please, and thank you for your patience. I don't know why it smells. Something, something in here smells. Not bad. It smells, it smells good. Maybe they put a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let's start with a t-shirt because why not? Let me say it without touching anything rattling. Let's start with the t-shirt because why not? Oh, yeah, so I'm wearing the same thing except I changed hats and I put on a robe. So if, I think I'm going to upload Dollar Tree haul after this one so it's backwards. So... In that Dollar Tree haul, I'm going to be talking about this upcoming Timu haul and just ignore it. It's the la I'm just being confusing now. Just shut up and show this stuff. Okay, I was in a Halloween mood when I was shopping on Timu the other day. And I got this. Oh, it looks too small already, though. It made me laugh, though. It's very thin. It's very tiny. How can that be? No, it's not. It's fine. I think everything is too tiny. I think that I'm much bigger than I really am, you guys, I think. It's the Leaky Cauldron. Let me read it. Oh, Lord, you guys know I need my old lady glasses to wear to read this, okay? It's the Leaky Cauldron Bar and Inn, an established and... I can't read that. It's in Dragon Alley, London, established 1500. It's nice and can you see, am I showing it? I think it's really cool for any time, not just Halloween. I paid $6.69 for it and it is still that price. So six bucks for the leaky cauldron bar and in if there really was a bar if there really were a bar called the leaky cauldron i'd probably be there all the time okay next oh lord oh lord how am i gonna explain this one wait let me turn it <laughs> i can't even look at it without laughing Hold on a minute. Just hold on a minute. Let's open it. Do I have to cut it or can I just open it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Oh no, they're broken. I have to put them together. There's sunflowers with skeletons in them. Why? I don't know. Okay, here are the stems. There are three. There are three in a pack. Let's get everything out of here so I can talk about the rattling for Pete's sake. Oh, they stink. Do they pass the smell test? No. All right, how do I even put these together? Come on, Timu. I'm not a scientist here. I don't see where you put these things together. Yeah, I see the three stems. But then I see, like... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smile for the thumbnail. Jeez. Oh, man. Okay, so, you, so I thought this would be funny. We have a nice floral display downstairs. If I snuck this in here, I don't know why I'm always playing pranks on my poor 75-year-old mom. Oh, no. I think, did I already break this? Because I, all right, forget that one. I already broke it, kind of. I'll fix it. I'll figure it, you know what we say here. I'll figure it out later. Let me try this one. Let me be a little more gentle this time. 
you have to snap them on these stems. Okay, and then you bend, then you bend the stems. You bend them like, you bend them like this. And then you take this long stem, and I, don't, I would cut it, actually, I would cut it probably about right here. I mean, if you really wanted it to look like real stuff. So there are three, but I think I broke the little snappy thing on this one. Let's see if I can get it to fit on this. <gasps> I broke it. I suck. I'm so clumsy. It's because I can't. Okay. <gasps> oh, I fixed it. All right. Sunflower skeletons. Okay, I'm always trying to get some kind of a thumbnail. Sunflower skeletons. Okay, so $6.58 just in time for Halloween. I thought it would be funny if I slipped this down in our fancy floral display and waited to see if my mom noticed. Otherwise, I don't know. I've just never seen anything like this in my life. And I thought, I like having things that I've never seen anything like that in my life. All right, where can we, where's a big flower pot when I need them? See, they're so long though. That's crazy. Cut the stem. Is it hard? I need one of those craft, um, um, one of those craft wire. I'm trying to stop saying, um, I need one of those craft wire cutters. Oh, I can't stop looking at my bright pink lips. Okay, the next thing in here. How can they get how can they get away with this, you guys? I don't know. I'm always asking that question. It's a stencil for um if you want to write like Walt Disney. It's the Disney font. It's the Walt Disney font in a stencil. And take it out because of course they put the sticker you can write like disney i need to get emma b reborn's address so i can write my thank you note i'm going to try to use this where's the t t h <laughs> i'll get as far as thank and then i'll give up on it but yeah i wanted i don't know it was how much was this thing it was something i just threw in my cart for the hell of it it was 57 cents that's why 50 cents 57 cents did the price drop no okay just here put this in the plastic pile put this in the i need to put that somewhere pile okay what else is in here Okay, fashion jewelry. It's a lapis lazuli. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Somebody tell me. Lapis lazuli stone on a ring. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, that helps with, if you're into that kind of thing, creativity. It helps with creativity. Writer's block. Other things, it's adjustable. Leave me alone, I'm creative. Oh, nothing can fit on that sausage finger, just nothing. Here, ow, I just, uh, ouch, I just totally pinched my finger. Okay, that's cool. I like rocks that just sit on your finger like that. I really do. That's, you know, it was $1.97. Now, I can hear my dad yelling at my late dad. He passed away. Oh my gosh, it's been five years. It feels like yesterday. I can hear my late dad yelling at me right now. Because I bought one of these paint pens for your car to touch up scratches on your car. And mine has a lot. And... But I know I can hear my dad saying, it's not going to be the same shade because it's a brand new shade of gray and your car is really old and it's going to look, it probably is going to look like hell. I got it in silver gray, which is the color of my car. Although I think my car had some cool name when I bought it, which, I mean, the paint color was um, not titanium, 
Oh, I forgot. It was a cool color and it was part of the, I was such an idiot at the time. I'd never bought a car by myself before and I paid way too much for it at the time. And I was only 20 something and my dad called the car dealership and screamed at them when he found out how much I paid for my car. And they actually did give me some money back. So have your dad call and yell at people. Sometimes that works. But that paint pen, wait, okay, okay, touch up pen for your car, $1.77. Why not? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm still trying to find out what smells in here, what smells good in here. What is this? Anyway, I wish I could remember the name of the paint. When they sold it, they were like, and it's got this, it's the shade, really, it's the color, really cool name. And I was really impressed with the name. Just, oh, no. All right, this, I've got to explain this. When I saw this, I thought, what? Why? And how? And then I thought, no. But then I said, yes. Always get to yes moisturizing cheese hand cream now what i wanted to know i feel like throwing up just reading that out loud like why why do we need cheese hand cream and please don't let it smell or look like cheese i paid 249 but then I got a price adjustment so right now it is 248 oh I got a whopping pe penny back it says moisturizing nursing cheese hand cream for dry rough cracked hands it's got four and a half stars if it looks like that cheese that you squirt out of a bottle I am going to throw up oh of course it's got well good i mean it's got one of these silver things for sanitary raisins oh please don't look like cheese and please don't smell like cheese i hope they just named it cheese because they meant milk and they got conf okay it doesn't look like cheese thank god if it would have looked like that cheese whiz i probably would have thrown up on camera and then i probably would have uploaded it for the algorithm okay oh uh-oh, <laughs> if it smelled like, it does not smell like cheese. Okay, it's soft and silky and buttery. I can see why it got a high rating. It, it doesn't smell like cheese. It smells good. It smells like a fresh, clean, no cheese at all. I don't know. So you can just psych people out and go... You can carry it around. And like if you're out, because I am sometimes out at happy hour with some female friends, like co-workers or whoever, and somebody will be like, does anybody have any hand cream? And I'm going to take out my cheese hand cream and go, here you go. Moisturizing cheese hand cream. Just use it around people to make them go do a double take when they look at your hand cream. I can't. So $2.48 for it. That's crazy. It's by Bio Aqua. If you know that brand, I don't. I don't know that, but it seems vaguely familiar. All right, that's my favorite thing. In well, no, I gotta say the sunflowers right now are winning. Is for my favorite thing in this haul. All right, the next two things. Is there lavender in here? Like what in the world? Oh, what in the world? There is a sweater in here. Holy cow, it is welcome back to the 1980s. I you know, it looked it looked beachy and summery and something that would look good with a tan that I don't have. I do have really like obscenely pink lips and a shiny face, but I don't have a tan yet. I should have put bronzer on, and then I should have tried on this sweater. I'll do that in another video. I got to come up with some new video ideas because I can't just keep buying things or I'm going to be filing for bankruptcy because this channel isn't even monetized. 
It's not even like I'm making money and then taking that money and then spending it to make more videos. It might be, I'll have to check the watch hours. Maybe I have enough now to apply for monetization. I don't know. It got demonetized when I took a two, two year break. Okay, so this sweater looks really tiny. Everything looks tiny to me. I got it in a large, which they said was, let me see. I got it in an XL, which they said was a size 12, but it looks like a size tiny. No, it doesn't. It's fine. I need to stop doing that for $12.59. So it starts out fine in beige. It goes down to the color that looks, I think looks really flattering on me, this pink or coral, but then it breaks out into this neon yellow down at the bottom. It can be kind of fun. So what I like about it is the colors of summery. So our office is freezing, but I could get away with wearing this sweater to work with some pants, of course, and not look wintry because of the colors. So yay sweater. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try, I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is, and I'm gonna try not to cry. Where are my scissors? Well, I also might be going to hell, like, cause I took a closer, when I saw, when I got the notification that this order was coming today, I looked over it on the app to, to remind myself what was gonna be in it. Oh no, styrofoam, we hate styrofoam. And I took a closer look at this and I didn't realize that, I just didn't realize how dark it was. Oh no, that did not just happen. Whatever, I'm about to change my sheets. It's clean sheet day. There's one thing I'm religious about on Saturdays and that is clean sheet day. All right, it is a, so, at the time I bought this, my cat was alive, and I had no idea that within days or, or a week or something that he would be gone. I'm sorry, if you're new to this channel, my cat passed away last weekend. Apparently, he had cancer everywhere, in his liver and in his spleen, and it was spreading, and we didn't know and anyway but i bought this when he was still alive it reminded me of him but not the pinnacle in the middle of his forehead and the horns it's a demonic black cat which now kind of i don't know it gives me kind of like do i want that like i don't he wasn't demonic he he was a zoomer so even to, up till almost his last day he was still zooming that's how i knew he was suddenly sick as he stopped zooming around the house but he was a little zoomer and a jumper and a climber and a crawler and a little beast but in a lovable way and so i bought this at the time because it just kind of reminded me of what like his inner self is a little bit like like a troublemaker meaning not not demonic with horns but this thing is called and it was 649 I love the face not fond of the skull <laughs> I like the collar with the skull on it the detail is nice you guys look at the fur look I'm on I'm on home shopping network mode now this is styrofoam the fur is really not, I mean the detail is great on it it's just the, the eyes or alien eyes but it's i it was 649 but i got a price adjustment to 579 and it says nemesis cult cutie is what it's called i didn't i don't remember looking at it and reading oh yeah i want a cult cutie but anyway it's cute i'm going to hell it's about to storm outside. Can I take a break and hydrate? I think you should too. Everybody, if you've got some water. Okay. I feel better. 
Okay, now I know what smells good in here. Shh. I got this for my mom for Christmas. And it smells so good. So, okay, I was, it's a candle and I was iffy about buying a candle that I couldn't smell in advance. But I took a chance because I thought the candle was funny, at least. And so I wasn't so concerned with the smell. But it's got so much, what do you call it, throw. Is that the word you use for how <laughs> a candle scent and how good it is? It's got so much throw that you can smell it outside the box, even. And within the box, there's another box. So you can smell it. It's not even lit all the way through two boxes and it is well let's see what the box says y'all know I can't read that without my old lady glasses first of all this I think was this was the most expensive thing in this haul it was twelve dollars and fifty nine cents high quality natural soy candle so it says enjoy your life Pure natural essential oil aromatherapy candles. And I did pick this. You could pick the scent. Or at least it has the scent. It says lavender. So I was right. I knew something's... Okay, lavender is the only smell. They don't give you a choice. And now it's $13.98. The price has gone up since I bought it instead of down. That's odd for Timu. The best time to check your orders to see if you have any price adjustments or Saturdays is when they seem to drop all the prices on everything but not this candle but look at here's what it says I hope oh no okay so it didn't travel well it melted a little it's got gold flecks at the top that I just kind of ruined when I opened it but it melted a little and soaked through the the label which really sucks or the heat or something having me as a daughter is really the only gift you need merry christmas oh it smells so good i kind of want to keep it but i won't okay let me put it back it's really hot though it's warm it's, you can tell it had a long hot ride to get here let me take these off i think that's so Having me as a daughter is really the only gift you need. Wow, that smells good. If they have something with some other witty saying, I don't know, though, $12, uh, that's a lot for a candle for me. I would rather look around. Um, we still have Tuesday morning here, even though they're closing down Tuesday morning stores left and right. But that's usually where I get my candles. Everything else is closed. I got a little pin that I didn't realize was going to be this small. And it says, can I rip it open? No, where did I put my scissors? Yeah. You want to add to my list of sayings, where did I put my scissors? Where are my old lady glasses? What does it smell like? Everything has to pass the sniff test. Okay, it's a tiny pin that's upside down. It is tiny. It's a little pin for you to put on your clogs if you're into that or a baseball cap. Oh, I'm wearing this baseball cap, you guys, from one of my earlier hauls from Timu with the Sakura flowers on it. But you guys, the bill is so long that I'm not, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to feel it. You know, I mean, I'm trying to feel it, but it's so long to me. And this disco ball is in my dollar haul, my dollar tree video. All right. And it's distracting. I didn't, I forgot to turn it off before I started this video. This pin says it's okay if your serotonin is store bought. Now, I don't know if that's a reference to if you get a serotonin rush from shopping or if you take some something that'll boost your serotonin. I don't mind. You know, mental health, it's important. We talk about feelings here. And I am not ashamed to say that my doctor put me on an antidepressant. Actually, 
he put me on an antipsychotic. And when he said that, I was like, hey, that's enough to kind of give somebody a complex when your doctor goes, I think we should try this antipsychotic. But it's called Vralar. And it has really balanced, well, it's made me a little bit boring. I will say that it's really evened out my personality almost to the point of just completely dead, but it has totally stopped the emotional, wild emotional roller coasters that I used to be on and just frenzied mania or crisis center calling depression. So, it has changed my life in that respect. It's called Raylar. It starts with a V. It's normally prescribed for people with schizophrenia. Did I pronounce that correctly? But I guess another off-label use is just for people who go like this without their seatbelts on. Anyway, it's okay if your serotonin is store-bought. Don't be ashamed. Or if you get a kick out of shopping, don't be ashamed. This hot molten lava. So in an earlier haul, I bought some earrings like this that look like they were, I better look at what I'm cutting before I cut something important. Hold on. I bought some earrings like this that were round and looked like they were dripping down gold from my ears. And this is the necklace that goes with them. It feels a little flimsy, but it look, of course, it's a little bit tangled up. Is it something I can quickly untangle? No, I'm going to have to sit down and really concentrate on untangling it. Oh, I did it. All right. So when you put it on, it looks like you've got molten gold dripping down your neck, which is exactly what I've always wanted to look like. Okay. I mean, obviously it's not going to be that high. <laughs> it will be down here or something. How much did I pay for my gold? Oh, the serotonin pin was only 68 cents. That's why I threw it in my cart. Cause I was kind of like, why would I buy that? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to wear it. I'll put it on this hat that I'm never going to wear. This necklace was Come on, Eileen, where is the necklace? One twenty a dollar twenty seven and it and it feels like it. All right, let's put it in the little storage bag. Next, I bought yet another one of these storage bag. Look, I I can't get enough of these. These are my favorite little cosmetic or storage bags or whatever you want to call them on Timu. They are called let me find it. Travel mesh storage bag. And they've got, now if I keep, the first one had it, but then when I keep trying to buy it again, they don't, but it should have mesh sides to help it expand. And no, this one doesn't have it either. The first one totally had, so the first one I got, this was all mesh on both these sides, but uh, since then, I have even gone back to that original order and clicked buy it again, and you don't get to pick the color. It's like they give you a random color, but since then, I haven't gotten one that's the same as the one I got before, so I still like these little bags. They're just very flimsy. They've got little flowers on them, but they hold a lot. And I don't know why I love these so much. This is my third one I bought, I think. And I paid 68 cents for it. Which is probably why I just grabbed it and threw it in my cart. And the last thing... Let me make sure... Yes, the last thing... These are press-on toenails. And I'm interested with... What do they have on them? Eyes? All right, because I've always wanted eyes staring up off of my feet. What? I thought they were blue ocean waves. Now, come on. And they really are eyes. Okay. And just the big toe has eyes. And there are, there are supposed to be smaller ones in here that are just 
this shade of blue, but I have really wrecked my nails to hell. I'm trying to get them to all come off. I don't want to go in and get them professionally soaked off because it costs, I don't know, 10 bucks. And why do I want to spend 10 bucks when I can just eventually peel them all off myself, even though you're not supposed to? But I want them off so I can try some of my press on nails that I've gotten from Timu, which is a stupid way to ruin, reason to ruin your fingernails. Or I might just go in next week and get them filled. But my toenails would win for the world's ugliest toenail contest right now because they're still black and blue from these shoes that I wore to this gala, gala, however you want to pronounce it. And literally black and blue, black toenails. And I want to try to cover them up with, with this. I'm going to glue these toenails on and give myself a I'm going to cut them way down and glue these on. And how in the world, though, would these stay on when you're walking around? Like, you're, sh I don't, I would think they would only last a day. And that would be if you were wearing open-toed shoes. But it's not like you could put these on and then cram your foot into a closed-toe shoe. I don't know. Anywho, these were $1.99, but then I got a price adjustment on them to a dollar 98 they gave me a penny back let me see if i can show you the picture probably not so the toenails look like this so as you can see there's only eyes on the big toes <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know sometimes sometimes i will get this team stuff and not just not know what the hell i was thinking when i bought them okay it's starting this storm 36 minutes i'm going to upload this first then I might upload my Dollar Tree haul even though I look like I'm not a skeletal old man but I look like one in that video and I'm not even very thin but something about the shirt made my arms look all like skinny and bony and stuff I look more like Grimace from McDonald like you have a small little top and then wall like that like that would be my body type is Grimace from, if you remember Grimace from the old days when McDonald's had characters and also flat. So from the side, I'm skinny from the side, but then turn around and it's like, all like a, like a pear, like a, totally like a pear. So, but I look like I'm dying of something in that Dollar Tree haul video that I guess I'll upload after this one. I look sickly and I'm not... I'm just tired. My cat was up all night crying again. I need some tips on what I can do to help my cat mourn without crying all night long. My vet suggested to bring her in for thousands of dollars worth of tests. No thank you. I'm still recovering from the last round of tests that did not end well. Anyway, everybody, if you watch, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being new to my channel. If you're a regular, thank you for being a regular. And I hope that you have a really fantastic day, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. And moi, thank you again. How do I stop this? Bye-bye.